I'm gonna give you guys a chance to guess where I am right now, specifically what country I am in. If you are a longtime viewer of this channel, then you should know. There's a little hint. But I am gonna give it away in three, two, one. If you guess Trinidad, then you are right. I am in the Caribbean, where humidity is literally 10 times worse than Houston. If you thought Houston humidity was bad, you need to visit the Caribbean. Actually, I don't know if it's like this in every island, but Trinidad is probably the most humid place I've ever been to. Beautiful, but very, very humid. Little history on yours truly, I'm actually from Trinidad, born and raised. Although I've probably lived in Texas for a lot longer than I've lived in Trinidad. Little fun fact. Right now I'm at my aunt's house, living it up. This is probably the most beautiful house I've ever been to in Trinidad. But what is especially amazing is this kitchen. Look at this kitchen. It would be wrong of me to visit Trinidad and not do a meal prep in this kitchen. Hint, hint. Keep a lookout. You're gonna see a meal prep in this kitchen, for sure. Anyway, a tour of Trinidad is not the title of this video, so why don't we get back onto the topic. Ever since I put up that video talking about how I started making progress um, in squats, I've been getting a ton of emails where you guys basically outline your squat program and ask me if that's a good program, and if not, then what are you doing wrong? So my friend Katrina is actually going to do a video talking about squat form, which is something that I'm gonna lightly cover in this video, but when she puts that video up, I'm going to link it in the description and I will put an annotation right here letting you know that that is up. That is gonna be one of her very first videos, so here is some motivation to get that video up, Katrina. But yeah, this video is gonna be a commentary of me basically talking about progress under the squat rack, so enjoy. So I'm just gonna jump right into this and take you from start to finish on what is currently my squat routine. Firstly, warming up properly is crucial. What I do is three sets of 10 with just the bar and then two sets of 10 with a plate on each side. This gets my blood flowing, gets me super stretched out and allows me to jump right into the workout as you can see. Before this, I would increase my weight in 10, 20, 30 pound increments as I progressed. However, I found that warming up with minimal weight and allowing my muscles to be stretched without slowly fatiguing them allows me to lift a lot heavier throughout my workout. After warming up, I started my working sets of five reps at 275 and did that for five total sets. These feel amazing because I've been thoroughly warmed up and if you feel tight during your squats, definitely give this a try. Okay, so next we're gonna be talking about positioning. Keeping it short, if you're tall and lanky like myself, go with a low bar squat as it's gonna shift your entire body positioning. I really see people struggling with this one and switching over to a low bar has absolutely changed my squat experience for the better and has totally allowed me to lift more weight. So I decided to write an article on this on my website, which I will have a link to in the description and on screen. I've had a ton of friends lift with me and after switching them over to the best positioning for their body type, I've literally seen them comfortably lift their max. Finally, we're gonna talk about depth. Once your lifting position is corrected, you're gonna to wanna to focus on really pushing your depth. As you can see in the beginning, I was making sure that at the very minimum, I was getting to parallel. But closer to the end, the bar is almost touching the supports as I push to go a little bit farther than parallel. This is going to make the lift just a tad bit more difficult to complete, but its benefits are tenfold. It's gonna improve your flexibility, range of motion, and allow your lifts to be smoother, and in the end, allowing you to lift that much more. I did record the rest of my leg day exercises, so I'm gonna let that play through, and at the end, we'll announce this week's giveaway winner.
Look at her just sleeping there like she's not crazy cute. Meal prep is completed and we just finished cleaning the entire kitchen. As promised, that meal prep is gonna be up very soon and you guys are gonna get to meet my cousin Jessica who actually hosted the meal prep because this is her kitchen. So stay tuned for that. Um, the winner of the giveaway will be right here. I should have already contacted you if you won, so congratulations. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, stay strong.